Welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you for joining us. Today we'll be going through a list of Asia's top 10 richest people according to the Forbes Billionaire List of 2023. If you are new to this channel, do well to like this video and hit that subscribe button to join our community of explorers. Number 10, Robin Zhang Yuchuan. The 54-year-old Chinese business tycoon is the founder and chairman of Contemporary Amperex Technology, CATL, one of the world's largest suppliers of batteries for electric vehicles. CATL was listed on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange in 2018 and supplies batteries to such automakers as BMW, Volkswagen, and Geely. Zhang holds a PhD from the Institute of Physics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences. He has a combined net worth of $33.4 billion as of April 2023. CATL is headquartered in Zhang's hometown of Ningda in Fujian province. Ford in 2023 announced plans to cooperate with CATL on a $3.5 billion factory in Michigan that will employ 2,500 people to start. Number 9, William Lei Ding. The 52-year-old from China is the CEO of NetEase, one of the world's largest online games companies. In addition to his legacy titles such as Fantasy Westward, the company's portfolio also includes the casual game Eggy Party and the battle game Justice Online Mobile, which uses AI to generate storylines. Facing tough competition in games from rival Tencent, NetEase has expanded into movies, e-commerce, and online music. Ding was China's richest man back in 2003. With a net worth of $33.9 billion as of October 2023, Ding stands at number 53 on the Forbes World Billionaires list. Ding has a Bachelor of Arts Science from the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. The mogul also has an interest in sustainable agriculture, with NetEase's e-commerce arm Yenxian selling pork sourced from its farms. Number 8, Tadashi Yanai. Yanai built and runs the Tokyo-listed retail clothing empire Fast Retailing, the parent of the Uniqlo chain. Fast Retailing's other brands include Theory, Helmut Lang, J Brand, and GU. The company reported a net profit of $1.2 billion on revenue of $17 billion for the fiscal year ended August 2022. Tadashi's net worth is at $36.1 billion. Flagship brand Uniqlo has more than 2,400 stores across 25 countries. Tadashi resides in Japan and is married with two children. He has a Bachelor of Arts Science from Waseda University. Yanai wants his company to become the world's largest retailer, which means it would have to surpass H&M and Inditex, parent of Zara. Number 7, Ma Huateng. Also known as Pony Ma Chair's Chinese internet giant Tencent Holdings. Tencent's popular social messaging app WeChat has 1.3 billion users. Tencent, which owns a stake in US video game company Epic Games, is one of the largest video game publishers in the world. It has stakes in electric car maker, Tesla and music streaming service, Spotify, which in turn has a stake in its Tencent music. Ma has a Bachelor of Arts slash Science, from Shenzhen University and is married. He has a net worth of $36.5 billion. Ma led the research and development of internet paging system development at China Motion Telecom Development before starting Tencent in 1998. Number 6, Li Kaxing. Sometimes known as Superman, the 95-year-old man is regarded as one of the most powerful businessmen in Asia. Li retired as chairman of CK Hutchison Holdings and CK Asset Holdings in May 2018 but remains a senior advisor. The group, which employs more than 300,000 people and conducts business in more than 50 countries, is now led by his son Victor. With $6,500 in savings and loans from family, Li founded Chung Kong Plastics, which bears the Yangtze River's name in 1950 when he was just 21 years old. He has a net worth of $37 billion. Fun fact, Li is a high school dropout. He resides in China and is widowed with two children. Number 5, Colin Zheng Huang. Colin Zheng is a 43-year-old from China and is the founder of PDD Holdings, the Chinese e-commerce company that changed its name from Pinduoduo in February 2023. Huang, who stepped down as chairman of the company in March 2021, is still a major shareholder of PDD. A serial entrepreneur, Huang earlier founded the online game company Zenuti and the online e-commerce platform UQ.com. Huang has a master's in computer science from the University of Wisconsin and interned at Microsoft in both Beijing and Seattle before starting his career at Google in the US in 2004. 
He has a net worth of $37.7 billion as of October 2023, standing 45th on the Forbes World Billionaires list. Number 4, Zhang Yiming. Coming in at number 4 is the principal founder of Chinese software behemoth ByteDance, which has more than 1 billion users globally and is best known for its immensely popular app TikTok, Zhang Yiming. Following his resignation as CEO in May of that same year, Zhang left his position as chairman of ByteDance in November of that same year, apparently due to pressure from the Chinese government. Recent rumors that TikTok may be outlawed in the US market have hurt ByteDance stock price. It also has interests in a wide range of topics, including journalism, education, and video games. Zhang has a net worth of $43.4 billion as of October 2023. In a four-bedroom apartment in Beijing, Zhang founded ByteDance in 2012. A few months later, Tushio, a news aggregation app was released. Zhang has a Bachelor of Engineering, from Nankai University and is resident in Beijing, China. Number 3, Gadami Adani. The $32 billion, in revenue, Adani Group, which includes holdings in seaports, airports, electricity generation and transmission, and renewable energy is led by Gautam Adani. The Adani Group, a commodities trading company that was founded in 1988, grew through acquisitions and with the help of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. American company Hindenburg Research charged Adani and his businesses with financial fraud and stock market manipulation in January 2023. Any wrongdoing has been refuted by the Adani Group. The largest port in the country, Mundra, is under the ownership of Adani in Gujarat, the state where he was born. After purchasing the Indian operations of Swiss company Halsam for $10.5 billion, Adani rose to the position of second-largest cement producer in India in 2022. As of October 2023, Adani has a net worth of $53.3 billion. He is an Indian and resides in Ahmedabad and is married with two children. Number 2, Zhong Shanchan. Taking up the second spot is Nongfu Spring, a firm that sells bottled water, which was founded and directed by Zhong Shanchan. In September 2020, the company floated its shares in Hong Kong. Zhong, a native of Hangzhou, abandoned primary school during the tumultuous cultural revolution in China. Before launching his own business, he later worked as a construction worker, newspaper reporter, and beverage sales representative. Zhong is also in charge of Beijing Wantai Biological Pharmacy which produces COVID-19 quick diagnostic tests and other testing for infectious disorders. The non-executive director of Nongfu Spring is his son, Zhong Shuzi. As of October 2023, Zhong has a cumulative net worth of $61.7 billion and resides in Hangzhou, and has one child. Number 1, Mukesh Ambani. And finally, we have the 66-year-old, who chairs and runs $110 billion, revenue, Reliance Industries, which has interests in petrochemicals, oil and gas, telecom, retail, and financial services. Reliance was founded by his late father Dhirubhai Ambani, a yarn trader, in 1966 as a small textile manufacturer. After his father died in 2002, Ambani and his younger sibling Anil divvied up the family empire. Reliance's telecom and broadband service Geo has close to 450 million subscribers. In August 2023, Reliance listed its finance arm, Geo Financial Services. Ambani is pivoting Reliance on green energy. The company will be investing $80 billion over the next 10 to 15 years in renewable energy and building a new complex next to its refinery. Ambani is married and his three children joined the board of Reliance in August 2023. Son Akash heads Geo, daughter Isha oversees retail and financial services, and younger son Anant is in the energy business. He resides in Mumbai, India. It is worth noting that Ambani dropped out of Stanford University but has a Bachelor of Science in Engineering degree from the University of Mumbai. He has a net worth of $91.4 billion. This concludes our list of the top 10 richest Asians. Thank you for watching to the end. Please do well to leave a comment on what you think about this video. Until next time, keep watching.